Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll see how to add an IP address to your computer. The IP address might be static or dynamic. We'll see both the options one by one. Let's see today's agenda. Today's agenda, how to add an IP address. Steps are below. Steps one, right click the network icon on desktop. Then click on properties. Click on change adapter setting or right click on network icon on taskbar at the right bottom corner. Then click on open network and internet settings. Then click on adapters options. We'll, we'll see this first. So this is the network icon on desktop. Right click here. Then click on properties. Then click here change adapter settings. See guys, this is the scan. Now we'll uh, see the another option. This is the network icon on taskbar. If you are having Windows XP or Windows 7, you will see here small computer icon like this. So I'm using Windows 10. So right click here, then Click on open network and internet settings. Click. Then come here, change your network setting. Below that, change adapter options. Click here. See guys, same page is coming. We can use another way. Just click here, left click. Then here, network and internet setting. Click on this network and internet settings. Then change adapter option. Click here. So guys, three ways, three different ways we can come to this space. Now, this is my Ethernet connection. And if you are using Wi-Fi, this will be your Wi-Fi connection. So right click on Ethernet, then see the step. Right click on Ethernet or Wi Fi, click on properties, click and select Internet Protocol version 4 or TCP IP4, then click on properties, put tick on use the following IP address, then enter the value, this value, then click on close. So, right click, then click on properties. Then select this, click here, left click, it will be selected. If tick is not here on this square box like this, there is no tick, please put a tick here. Then click on properties. Then use the following IP address. 192.168.1.1 then press the this is the subnet mask default class is taking if you have variable subnet mask then you can add manually so like this your network administrator or your service, uh, service provider given you some different kind of subnet mask like this type manually 255 255 then sometimes they provide two 48 then 0 like this only so we are using default so we'll use the default like 255.255.255 then 0 then come here press tab or you can use your cursor gateway 192.168.0 press dot or use your cursor then 1 then use DNS 8.8.8.8 then 4.4.4 then there is one more option guys advanced setting see what is this click on here okay guys if you have more IPs then add here and you can put the IP as a secondary IP address if you have another gateway like redundant gateway if one gateway fail traffic will go to another gateway 
at the gateway here, different gateway. Or if you have another DS, multiple DNS, you can add the DNS also, guys. Okay. Then click on OK. OK. Close. Now, guys, we have assigned IPv4. Now, let's see. Where is the IP address? What is the IP address? Just press Win and R together, then type CMD. Then type here IP config. See guys, Ethernet adapter settings. See our IP address, subnet mask, gateway. But here we don't see the DNS. So guys, to see the DNS, type IP config slash all. See guys, in DNS also you can see here. Now we'll see dynamic IP address. Come same over here, then right click here, click on properties, then same way, click select here, go properties, click here, put option and IP address automatically. Here also put a tick. So this is dynamic IP address. Then click OK, then close. Now come here. First exit, winner, CMD, IP config, see guys, this is something different game, previously used 100, see, see guys, but here we don't see anything like DNS and DHCP, DHCP means the server who is providing this IP address to client, so if you want to see, just type IP config slash all enter C IP address subnet mask. This is the default gateway. This is the DSP server. So this server is providing the IP address. Okay, guys, this is for wide network. If you have wireless but your wireless don't have DSP, then what you will do, just right click, go to same way guys, select here, click on properties, if you want this option, automatically, then automatically select this option, it will get automatic IP address. Then OK, close. You will see here. Go to CMD, winner, CMD, IP config. Sorry, guys. I... Press enter. See, guys, this is my wireless. This is the IP address getting. We cannot manually also here to check. So right click properties, then select properties, use static IP, following IP address. If 192.168.43.100 or you can give 200, you can provide up to 254 default subnet mask then 192.168.43.1 then come here then click ok then close now we can check give ip config See guys, this is IP address on wireless adapter we set manually. If you want to see the DNS, then give slash all. See guys, we can see DNS also. We have IP4, gateway, subnet mask. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe the channel. Bye bye guys. See you in the next video.